The CSI interface consists of several interactive components, including the control panel for reading and data, select variables, and setting inference parameters, the causal network view for visualizing and rectifying causal models, the regression analysis view for displaying detailed statistic coefficients of each regression models, the parallel coordinates view for visualizing data and exploring potential data subdivisions, the subdivision control panel for generating and managing data subdivisions, and the model diagnostic panel for managing inferred models and pooling salient relations from multiple models. We demonstrate the basic use of inferring a single causal model with the Auto MPG dataset. We firstly load in data, set up data types and data prepare methods. We use default settings here, but one can adjust them accordingly. In the parallel coordinates, one can select data subdivisions by brushing on axes and infer model only on selected data. We can also save selections as tags. For this example, we use all the data available as there is no apparent data group. Next, we can either derive a causality model with inference algorithm or start from a correlation graph with all significant relations and then manually direct those edges. Here we click Go Causality and infer the causal model. The inferred model is visualized in the causal network view as a path diagram, in which nodes are positioned regarding their topological orders. Width of edges encodes the strength of causal relations. Green edges mean positive influences and red ones are negative, according to their coefficients in regression models. The green plus signs associated with each edge imply they are all improving the model quality regarding the BIC scores. We can examine the statistic coefficients with more details in the regression analysis view. We can also modify the derived model to propose or refute relations. For example, if we want to see if a bigger engine will directly influence the gas mileage, we can add new relation from displacement to MPG. We firstly double-click displacement, and MPG, and then click create. However, the new relation is with a red minus sign, and the score bar is also colored red. This means the edge is lowering the model quality thus is suggested to be removed from a statistical point of view. Thus, we remove the relation by clicking delete. And we can see the model becomes better as the model score decreases and so the score bar is colored green. We can also filter out weak relations and simplify the network leaving only strong causal paths. Multiple models differing in both structure and parameters may inhabit in different data subdivisions. These models can be inferred and diagnosed with the CSI interface. To demonstrate, we load in the ocean chlorophyll dataset. As there are too many data points, the parallel coordinates will load gradually. The dataset can be partitioned geospatially by longitude and latitude. We select the two variables in the data subdivision control panel, and click Go. The data is partitioned automatically, and each subdivision is saved as a tag. User can click on a tag to see the data selection. Next, we infer a causal network from each of these subdivisions by setting p-value threshold to be 0.1 and then clicking on infer on each. The process of building these 169 models costs about 30 to 40 seconds. Inferred models will be displayed with a heat map in the model diagnostic view. A darker tile implies a model with better quality regarding its model score. We can examine each model by clicking on a tile. And each model can be refined as previously demonstrated. We next cluster these models with the K-midoid clustering. Here we set K to be 3, and hit the clustering button. The result then will be shown on the heat map, and the midoid model in each cluster is marked with a number. Salient relations can be pooled from each cluster. We can turn weighted off to pool by frequency, but here we keep it on to pool by credibility. Then, we can look at a combined model by selected from the drop down list. We set the credibility threshold to be 0.5, filter the model, and then relay out. By such, we can extract salient relations commonly observed in many. We can also fit the pooled model with any data subdivision to see how it works.